Hello friends, uh, this is Mr. Jarby, and I'm going to be reading a book called Charlie Goes Camping. This is written by Carrie Weston and Tim Warrens, and it's one of my favorite books I like to read at home to my girls. It's uh, a really great summer book, but you can read it anytime. So this is called Charlie Goes Camping. Little campers need a really big friend. So here we go. One day, the day that Miss Cluck took the class camping, everyone was very excited. When Miss Cluck said that it was almost time to set off, all the animals squealed with delight. Letitia the rabbit carried her butterfly net. Maxwell the mole clutched his teddy. The little mice each had a basket. Fergus the fox cub was given the map. And Charlie was put in charge of absolutely everything else. For Charlie was an enormous, hairy, scary grizzly bear but he was also rather kind and helpful. Bravo, said Miss Cluck, as Charlie heaved a huge bag on his back. What would we do without you? Miss Cluck and her class set off through the woods. Letitia chased after butterflies. Fergus puzzled over the map. Maxwell got Teddy stuck up a tree, and the mice struggled with their baskets. Eventually, Charlie caught up with, all, with them all. Poor Miss Cluck blew her whistle. This really won't work. She said, we must stay together. And Charlie had an idea. He found room for everything in his bag even the tired mice. Before long, they came to a little bridge. Charlie and Letitia dropped twigs into the stream. Then everyone rushed to the other side of the bridge to see whose would come out first. But somehow, Charlie forgot about the bag on his back. Somehow, Maxwell's teddy went splash into the water. Somehow, the mice managed to cling on. Maxwell let out an enormous wail. Oh, Charlie, he cried. Poor Charlie felt so clumsy and ashamed. Miss Cluck carefully leaned over the bridge with Letitia's butterfly net, but it was no good. Teddy was floating away. Charlie decided it was time to be very brave. He leapt into the water. Splash! All the way up to his hairy knees. Charlie scooped Teddy safely out of the water. Now there were two dripping wet bears. And Maxwell hugged them both. Charlie is the biggest, bravest, best bear, said Maxwell. Bravo, Charlie, agreed Miss Cluck. Now let's set up camp before there are any more accidents. The animals gathered round while Miss Cluck explained how to build a teepee. It all sounded very easy. Letitia and Maxwell collected long sticks. The mice chewed off some lengths of rope. Charlie helped Fergus spread out the canvas. Then all, they all tried to put it together, but it was not easy, not at all easy. Once the teepee was up, the fun really began. Miss Cluck got out a new box of chalk and let everyone draw on the teepee. It looked wonderful. Charlie put Maxwell's teddy on top to dry. And off they went to pick berries for dinner. Miss Cluck showed them which ones were good to eat. 
Charlie carried the full baskets while the other animals hurried ex excitedly back to camp. But they were in for a shock. For their wonderful teepee wasn't quite so wonderful anymore. Someone had draw drawn on Miss Cluck's face. Someone had pulled down all the sticks. And someone was going to be in big trouble. Miss Cluck was very, very angry indeed. She marched straight up to the bulging canvas, reached underneath and pulled out two very naughty little wolf cubs. The two, the two cubs wiggled and struggled. Do your parents know you are out in the woods alone? Asked Miss Cluck in her firmest voice. We don't care, yelled one of the cubs rudely. Our daddy is a big bad wolf. He is much bigger than you, said the other even more rudely. And he eats chickens for dinner, boomed Charlie with a great big berry stained grin. Yikes, it's a grizzly bear. Help, it's a hungry bear. Phew, it's Charlie Bear. The naughty little wolf cubs turned on their heels and fled. Charlie was most confused. Oh, Charlie, what a brave bear you are, smiled Miss Cluck. Now let's put the teepee back together. That evening, Charlie and his friends ate a dinner of toasted marshmallows and berries until the sun went down. Then Miss Cluck got out her guitar and they sang songs under the stars. <clears throat> Charlie felt his eyelids grow heavy. It was tiring being a big, brave bear. I think I might go to bed now, he yawned. So Charlie snuggled down happily inside the teepee and was soon snoring. A little later, Fergus then Letitia, Maxwell with Teddy, the mice, and Miss Cluck crept into the teepee. There wasn't much room, but nobody mind a bit. After all, everyone had a nice, soft place to sleep. Even Miss Cluck. Bravo, Charlie, she whispered as she fell asleep. And that is the book, Charlie Goes Camping. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever need a copy, just ask me. I'll lend it to you. Thank you very much.